Meet Mr. Mays, the genetically modified Mays living and growing happily in Brazil. Meanwhile in the EU, the animal feed sector needs Mr. Mays to feed European animals, enabling the production of high quality meat and milk. The EU is particularly dependent on crop imports. As more and more farmers worldwide choose to grow genetically modified crops, especially soy, maize, cotton and rapeseed, these crops are now the standard for trade. Mr. Mays is really excited to come to Europe and contribute to its economic welfare. With this great purpose in mind, he embarks on a plane for a new adventure. Mr. Mays is an experienced traveller. He has both travelled to and lived in the Americas, Asia and Africa without any problems. The animal feed sector and farmers have big expectations as to his arrival in the EU. Mr. Mays is confident. But before he can leave the airport, he must be checked. In fact, every GM crop that is being imported to the EU needs to undergo a rigorous review of its safety before being put on the market. Mr. Mays is prepared. He has all his documents with him. He has been proven to be safe during his previous travels. But the EU needs to be really sure. Mr. Mays is being thoroughly searched and is surprised when he sees his non-GM friends leaving the airport fairly quickly without additional questions. His control seems to be taking much longer than expected. Time passes by and days turn into months. Mr. Mays understands that Europeans want to confirm his safety. However, the never-ending tests imposed by politicians don't seem to have a clear objective or a scientific justification. Tests which have already been done are being reconducted, but in a different manner. Months turn into years. Mr. Mays is stuck and desperate Despite all the tests having shown that he is safe and healthy, he is not allowed to enter the EU. The animals and farmers in Europe are miserable. Without Mr. Mays, the cost for livestock feed will increase, leading to a higher price of beef for the consumer. Oh. But was this all a very bad dream? Mr. Mays lands in Europe with the hope that the system to assess his safety will work as it should, based on science and not on politics. Did you know that? Today the EU is the world's biggest net importer of agricultural commodities. EU livestock farmers highly depend on GM imports to feed their animals and produce high quality meat and milk. The EU imports of GM commodities are estimated at 60 kilos per EU citizen per year and upwards. Stopping the import of genetically modified crops would cost the EU economy 9.6 billion euros in total. This would also mean a sharp increase in the price of meat produced in the EU. The EU has the most complex GMO approval system in the world. In the past, it took on average 48 months to authorise a genetically modified product for import. But today the safety assessed products are waiting in the system for an average of nearly 80 months. How would you feel if your driving license was withheld despite having passed your driving test? <laughs>